Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitches available for your 2012 Honda Odyssey. Here at the top we've got the Hidden Hitch Class 3, its part number is 87479. Then we've got the Kurt Class 3, this is part number C13068. Just below that we've got the Draw Type, this is going to be the twin sister to the Hidden Hitch on top. This is 75270. Finally, to round out the group, we've got our Kurt Class 2 hitch. This is part number C12031. Now, there's not going to be a whole lot of difference between the hitches that we've got here today. Mounting is identical as far as placement of the hitch. The Kurt's require you to fish wire a couple of bolts in. Pretty simple process where the draw tight and the hidden hitch, they're going to use your existing mounting locations. The looks are gonna be exactly the same. They're the same width, same tube diameter on our class threes. Class two's a little bit smaller. That one's not gonna hang down quite as much on the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, we've got the hidden hitch on the car there. So your class two here is gonna be about three quarters of an inch less than what we've got on that one. Safety chain connection points, all pretty consistent. Your hidden hitch here and your draw tight are gonna be just a little bit wider than what you've got on the two Kurtz, but again, not a big difference at all there. Now as far as weight ratings and things like that are concerned, on our Kurt Class 3, they're going to have a 350 pound maximum tongue weight rating, so that's the maximum downward force we can put here on the receiver tube opening, and a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating, so that's going to be the total of our trailer and everything that we've got loaded up. If we switch these into a weight distribution setup, then the tongue weight rating is going to go to 500 pounds the trailer weight rating is going to go to 5,000 pounds. On our hidden hitch and draw tight, the tongue weight is 675 pounds with a 4,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. With weight distribution, our tongue weight remains at 675 pounds, but our gross trailer weight rating is going to go up to 5,000 pounds. You will want to, of course, check the owner's manual on the Odyssey, make sure it can handle those kind of loads. If not, we'll go off of whichever of the lowest. Now on the Kurt here, we're going to have the same 350 pound tongue weight rating and a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating with the class two. Um, no weight distribution classification. So with this one, they recommend the use of a stabilization strap for any non-wheeled loads that we might have. Our class threes all have a 5 8 inch pinhole. Class two is gonna have the half inch. The difference that you'll see on the hidden hitch and the draw tight will be that there's a second hole a little bit closer to the receiver tube opening than our main pinhole. That's for use with the J-Pin stabilization system. Now here's our hidden hitch installed on the vehicle. You can see that dual pinhole that we were talking about there. Your standard 5.8 pinhole on all of our class three hitches are gonna work out with any of the class three accessories. You can see we've got plenty of room here on each side. The class two work fine with any of the class two accessories. Now from the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening from the ground, on all of our hitches is going to be about the same. We're looking at about 12 inches from here to the ground. Now from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, that changes a little bit. With the draw tight and the hidden hitch, it's going to be about five and a quarter inches to the outermost edge of our bumper. Whereas with our Kurt, we're moving that back further towards the rear of the vehicle. It's going to be at about three and a half. Now that we've had a good look at the differences and best hitches available, we hope this will help you in making your buying decisions.